Tell you what, painting, okay, planting so much more. The 20th annual San Diego River Days is back, and it's a great way to get outside with the family. I'm going to be doing a demo, by the way, so that I've got these on. I want to introduce you to Sarah. We have Sarah here. We also have Craig standing by with Think Blue. So we're going to talk to Craig in just a moment, but we're going to start with Sarah because, first of all, um, River Days, can you talk to me about what this is about for folks who don't, who might not know what it is? For sure. River Days is basically just a celebration of the San Diego River. It's an opportunity for for us to get people outside doing all the different things that are possible along the river, whether it's planting, activities for kids, art, cleanups, really it runs the gamut. And we have opportunities going from Julian all the way to the ocean. Oh my goodness. And you know what? You have a lot going on because first of all, I said painting. Uh -huh. Which you have set up here. Did you do this by the way? I, I may have. Yeah. You may <laughs> have. I mean, this is, you know, so you have painting, uh, planting, and I, it's so funny because I see the setup here. So what can we expect if we come out, we bring the kids along, what is that, like a plant cocktail? Because I see yeah. a setup here, so what exactly is that? It looks like we're making a cocktail, right? So this is actually what we're gonna be doing. We can do a little demonstration. So these are the ingredients. They, oh, before we start, we should get you an apron. Oh. I don't want to mess up that Let's lovely dress. Let's see, you're not dress. even in, in an apron, well, and I my, am. My job is working outdoors, so, you know, <laughs> you got to go back inside. Oh, Sarah, you're the best. She's looking out for the dress for the, oh, my gosh. Again, I promise I'm not that high maintenance. <laughs> Thank you, Sarah. You're okay, welcome. so let's get started. So we add a couple of different ingredients. There's clay. Okay. Oh, should I, I grab you? Yeah, let's get you some okay. clay. So I'm going to get clay. So yep. So get a, a little, little scoop. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, here we go. Just a little scoop. Yep, we're going to get some soil. Ooh, okay. All right. I feel like yep, the kids yep. would really love this. This is a perfect way for kids to learn about restoration. Mm -hmm. So, And then these are all native seeds. So these are seeds that oh. are all from different native plants that are found in uh, chaparral habitat. Okay. And then from there, we get some water. Here's one for I you. I see how it gets messy. Okay. Yep, yep. We're going to add a bunch of water in here. Okay. Once it's nice and damp, we can start to mix it up. Oh, I put way too much. That's okay. It'll be fine. It just needs to be enough to stick together. Oh, I see. Okay. okay let me get you a little bit of speed. Oh, speed my water goodness. Addition. I already messed there up. Go. We no, have no. it. That's good. There is no messing up. <laughs> okay, here we go. It is Once messy. Once it's nice Ooh, and damp, okay. you're able to make a little ball okay. out of these. And then when these balls harden, let me get an example of one that's already finished. When they oh. harden, you have these little seed balls. Oh. that are perfect for throwing up onto remote hillsides for restoration. So not only do kids get to have their hands dirty, which and they is love always that. Fun. Right, they love yes, that. Yes, exactly. Then they have this product that we're able to just toss up a hill, and when it hits the ground, the clay shatters okay. and scatters all the seeds. I love that yeah, idea. Yeah, yeah. That's fun. Yeah. So, you get to, so you take it home. Mm -hmm. Is that it says that? Is yeah, that the kids plan? can take it home oh, you or, can, they, or they can bring it to our preserves. And I was just going to say, obviously, they're learning it for a reason. So there is the little seed ball that yeah. I made. Thank you. That was and fun. And then these will turn into a bunch of Look at beautiful, that. blooming native plants. Maybe we'll start our own super bloom. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I like that idea. Exactly. Sarah, thank you. I'm going to take off yeah, the gloves. Yeah. I'll put this here, but I want to get over to Craig because, Craig, you're with Think Blue. Yes. You guys are going to be out there. Um, talk to me a little bit about you know bringing the family out and cleaning up. Well, yeah, we're, we're a proud sponsor of River Days. It, yes. it, it's it's a, a nine days of educational activities, like planting uh, the seeds there and, and doing murals, but also doing cleanups too. So, mm. uh, and, and so we have, uh, we're gonna have four cleanups as part of River Days. So uh, the first one's gonna be Saturday morning at 9 a.m. in Mission Valley. You can go to sdriverdays.org mm -hmm. uh, to, uh, to check out the events and volunteer if you want, and you'll get the bucket and gloves and a picker to help out. And, uh, you know, we're really just proud to support uh, the River Days. You know what I like about this, because if you tell the kids we're going to go out and clean sometimes they might be like what what are we doing but you give them a contraption like this absolutely <laughs> and all of a sudden they're game <laughs> they want to go out they want to help but why is this so important well uh you know uh, uh ocean pollution is a, is a huge issue mm -hmm. right uh there's some estimates that you know uh over the next 15 years uh, there's gonna be so much uh, additional plastic uh, added doubled uh, plastic to the ocean yeah that by 2050 there's gonna be more plastic than fish in the ocean no yeah and so we're really on a bad trajectory so it's really important that we have educational events like River Days, and that's what why Think Blue, which is our public education education outreach program mm -hmm. at the City of San Diego, we support things like this because we want to make sure that people know that they can do everyday things to help out, like pick up after your pet, don't overwater your lawn, mm -hmm. stuff like that, mm -hmm. to make sure that we protect our local environment. Don't overwater your lawn. I have to admit, I've been guilty, and sometimes I'm like, oh, I gotta turn up, I gotta make sure that I've got the sprinkler turned up. Okay, here's the thing. Before I let you guys go, I hear Craig wants to quiz me. Yeah. 
Oh, here so, we go. You're going to quiz me. Okay, so <laughs> let's let's get going. So, Hopefully I know this. So water that flows into a storm drain when it rains, right? Mm -hmm. Is that water treated or untreated before it goes through channels and everything to, to our local waterways in the ocean? It's untreated. It is untreated. Okay, right? the runoff, yeah. And so that's why it's super important that, you know, you, if you see trash on the ground, pick it up, properly dispose of it, uh, pick up after your pets so that that also does not yes. go into a storm drain because yes. that, that bacteria and stuff is not healthy for marine life and stuff right. like that. And so that's super important. Important that people know that uh, anything that goes in the storm drain is untreated. untreated. You need to be careful about it. Okay. That. Okay. What else? Okay. What do you think is the number one thing that is picked up in our cleanup efforts? A the plastic. No, no, the number one item. Oh, the number one item. Water bottles. That's up there, but it's actually cigarette butts. Oh. And obviously, no. cigarette butts. Obviously, uh, cigarettes are bad for people, but right. they also have chemicals in, in, in the in the cigarettes, right? So when you have a cigarette butt on the ground and it rains and that flows to oh, the ocean, that ends yeah. up that ends up uh, harming our local water. Uh, okay. Our local water quality and marine life. Well, we shouldn't be throwing it on the ground to begin with, but if you happen to see it, just pick it up as you go. So here's the deal: we want to get the information up on your screen. Hey, thank you. I I did okay, I think. <laughs> okay, <laughs> even though I got the water bottles, but anyhow, so. The 20th annual River Days. This is happening tomorrow from 9 a.m. to noon. Again, this is family friendly. There's a lot to do. Bring the whole family out. Happening at uh, West Point Willamette Boulevard. We've got all the information up on our website, fox5sandiego.com. Click the scene on tab. And reminder, it's free. Okay? So thank you, Sarah. Thank you, Craig, for being here to talk to us about River Days. Uh, don't go anywhere. We're going to be right back.